Okay, I'm now going to explain some of the root axis applications um, and some non-root applications. Now, for the root axis applications, these applications that I have um, are being used by a lot of nerds out there, a, a lot of people that know about hacking and modifying your phone. Um, not a lot of the common public know about this stuff. Um, but the first root access application that I'm going to show you um, is called set CPU right here. Okay. Now with the root access applications, these applications are um, designed to optimize the performance of your phone while also um, getting creating and optimizing your battery and your battery life. Okay. So set CPU is first up. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go right into set CPU. Now, set CPU is a program that lets the user adjust the settings of your CPU, okay, which is your processor, how your phone processes things, and how fast it works, okay. Now, the Samsung Moment has an 800 megahertz processor, but Android, um, the settings in Android have your have your processor running from anywhere from 66 megahertz to all the way up to the full potential 800 megahertz okay so set CPU lets you adjust all of that okay you can adjust the maximum okay you can see 400 266 133 and 66 is the minimum okay you can set the max and the minimum there um, there's profiles Profiles is what I use now. I have been testing and playing around with set CPU for some time now, and I have developed a very, very good profile system that works really, really well on my phone. And um, I have actually posted this on a thread in the SDX developers forums to help a lot of other people and to also see how it helps other people and if it's given other people better battery life. And I have got nothing but positive thank yous and positive feedback um, we can actually go right here to one of the posts that I made about that um, helping people adjust their set CPU um, in this way but like I said you have to have root access in order to do this now let's just read let's just read like um, some of the replies that people uh, a lot of people are just uh, conversating in here with one another. Um, not everybody says something um, dedicated to me and about what, uh, what what I've tried to gain in this post. Um, a lot of people are confused as to how uh, you know what they're doing with this. Well, you know, I've just replied. Um, let's see. This person. Okay, he's just posting a question regarding that. Um, I figured you're running. Yes, da da da. Follow these instructions. Thank you, Japawan. This is a great guide, and I've been wondering what the optimal settings for the set CPU were since I installed it. I have noticed an improvement on both battery life and performance. Um, this guy ran at 800, 800 all day. Uh, he hasn't done nothing out of the ordinary. And he's getting amazing battery life with that. I mean, I have four four pages. Anyways, of thank yous and, you know, other people, you know, just chatting about their phones and asking questions, this, this, and that. But um, basically, okay, these are the profiles I have. While it's charging, I have the processor running at a full 800 max and minimum. So I, I want my processor running at full speed because I want... I want the performance out of my phone. I mean, if I have an 800 megahertz processor, I want it to run at 800 megahertz. I want it to run full speed and process things quickly. The faster it processes things, um, the less battery the CPU needs to use. Therefore, using a lot less, um, using less battery. Now, it, it really all depends on what you're doing and how the processor is jumping from a low megahertz to high megahertz as to how much uh, battery it's consuming. But, um, Basically, you want to have a sleep standby. When it's on standby and when the phone is asleep, like when the screen is off like this right here, okay, that would be the sleep standby. I have it running 
at uh, at 800 max running full speed, but it will also drop down to uh, half the speed so that it's using less power. If the processor is using is running half the speed, it's going to use half the power. Um, so basically, um, if my battery is full, I want it to run at full speed. Once my battery power goes um, as uh, once my battery power goes below 50 percent. I have the minimum of my processor running at 400 so it actually will drop down to 400 when it's not being used very much but when I'm using programs and it needs a processor it'll jump up to 800 so it can process things good. Um, battery profiles, uh, when I have the uh, power, when my battery drops below 20% I'm going to have the maximum, um, I want my CPU to run max at 400 and 266 megahertz. Um, at the lowest and then a fail safe profile which is great if my CPU gets higher than 50 Celsius which is 122 Fahrenheit if my if my processor gets that hot um, this program will actually slow the processing speeds down to 400 max and 266 minimum so that it gives the CPU a chance to cool off I have never um, had my CPU run that hot ever uh, now we're talking I'm not overclocking my processor so it's not going to run hot um, all I'm doing is adjusting it from the max potential and actually lower to save battery life and like I said there's a lot of people using um, using my profile setup and getting much better performance out of their phone and much better battery life so um, that set CPU um, you can actually look at your system info everything that you need to know. Battery temperature right now is 86 Fahrenheit. My battery level is at 70%, which is great. I've had my phone running all day and that's at 70%. Kick ass, right? Excuse my language. Um, you can do uh, short bench, long, be uh, long bench, stress tests, um, and it'll actually, put, it'll actually put a stress test on your CPU to see how your CPU holds up. You can refresh it. Um, it also has advanced settings right here. Um, you have to have in order to do advanced settings you have to have this on conservative which is uh, the CPU governor right now I have it set on performance you can see that at all performance um, there's other um, user profiles that you can have it save on power save conservative um, these are actually newer files that, um, uh, that I've never seen before uh, it's obviously from the new update but I don't really need to mess with anything because I have it set exactly how I need it to. And I have it running on um, boot and it auto refreshes. So my phone is constantly running at a great speed, processing everything greatly. And when my battery starts to get low, basically I want to uh, have it running slower just so that you know and up until I get to a charger to charge my battery um, I will deal with my phone's processing speed at lower speeds basically if you think about it when you have a full tank of gas you usually don't care about how you drive you you know you drive faster with higher rpms yada yada and you burn you burn your gas but once you get down to about a quarter tank you start to conserve on your driving um, you know you're, you're not burning out and you're not driving really really fast in between lights and whatnot and especially when you get down to an eighth of a tank you're really starting to drive conservative um, keeping the rpms low trying not to burn a whole lot of gas that's the same concept that um, i'm adhering to um, my profiles with set cpu basically once the, the battery is getting low i'm not like using a whole lot of processing speeds to suck up the battery which will inevitably give my battery a longer <coughs> longer life as to just running this running my processor at full speed um, all the time all the way up until the battery's dead so that is set cpu